I do, in terms of like the Damon Alaric relationship, the big WTF moment happens this season, which I'm excited to. Hey guys, Misty Kingma here, and Clever's bringing you a behind the scenes look at the final season of The Vampire Diaries. Let's look back at all the seasons first. Okay, let's do it. Favorite scene that you've ever shot? Do you have one that you'll remember forever? Favorite scene I've ever shot that, uh, oh my God, there's so many. I'm, I would say my favorite scene is when Damon and Alaric battle it out for the first time season one and try to kill each other and then kind of realize that they have more in common and become buddies. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, man. I tried I to kill you. I actually kind of like you. You said this was going to be easy. Well, don't you have one? Because you should always remember it. In so eight it should be years. Like in the forefront of your mind. In eight years. Oi. What's your favorite interview in eight years? Um... This one. You think of that? Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite scene yes! I filmed. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, crazy. Um, no, I'd, I have to say, I think the filming the pilot was still a really special thing. It was my first TV series. We all bonded um, just immediately while filming. And we were in Vancouver, it was beautiful. Um, but as far as being here in Atlanta, I think I always have a great time. So usually there's like these big party scenes and they all kind of start out hectic, but after a while everyone's all dressed up and they'll have like fake snow or they'll have like, <laughs> you know, or we're at like this pretty river, you know, and even though there's bugs everywhere and the fake snow's really paper so you're coughing all day, like there's still something special about just being outside at like four in the morning with like this bizarre work family that right? we've created here. And so I think that's what I'm gonna miss. It's well, if you can see the beauty in that, then it really <laughs> is special. <laughs> Shockingly, that is, so yeah, there was like one night where we were filming and it was, it was literally, I think, below zero because of the wind chill. And we were filming on this weird train track thing and so they had to have like people that were walking around and on the run and so they had all these trash cans of fire set up. So in between every cut, like, uh, the whole crew was just running and like oh, the fire. So literally our whole night was spent like trying to warm ourselves by trash cans of fire. Like, you know, just the glam Trying life. to remember lines and stuff on top of it. Oh yeah, no, we just never, no. Never. That's asking way too much. Okay, is there a scene that you'll just huh? never forget shooting? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, probably in the earlier uh, seasons. So, okay. So it's the thing where my veins start coming and she's never seen these veins and she doesn't know that I'm a vampire yet or she does kind of know and then she's like, oh, it's okay and she's touching my face and I'm crying and I'm, we're hugging and that was nice. Did you guys make out? Like on the set? Like or in like the scene? after the like scene? Like in the scene. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, uh, we made out uh, in the scene. Yeah, we made out in the scene. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So there have been a lot. I mean, my favorite episode was episode um, five of season one, where Damon turns Vicky into a vampire and they're running through the Salvatore house dancing and like Fun. Drinking each of other's course. blood and just sort of getting wasted on, on, on their blood together. That was fun and what I sort of thought embodied who Damon Salvatore was. Um, and that sort of solidified. I remember after shooting that episode, I thought, man, this is going to be a pretty incredible ride if this is this person I'm going to play for the next six years. But then, then Damon sort of that wasn't the case, but. Um, <laughs> he had to get all emotional and stuff. He had to and... get all emotional and get a girlfriend and pine for yeah, Catherine and totally. Elena. And, uh, and then there was Rose, he cried over. I don't think of all the. It wouldn't be fun without any tears. That's what Julie and Kevin had to tell me. Okay. Um, okay. They had to sit me down and drill it into my uh, thick skull that Kevin said, dude, this is a hundred episode arc of this man. You can't just be a one trick pony bad villain and I fought them tooth and nail, but they were right. It's about the journey. Well, they're all special. <laughs> but one. if you had to pick one. My favorite, just because it was cool, it was intense, I got to learn a new skill, was when, uh, when I wrecked a truck, I believe in season three. Good skill to learn. Into the river, yeah, I know, wrecking a vehicle. I was actually pretty good at that already, uh, but oh. I had to learn how to, to dive, you know, I had to learn how to use all the oh, diving whoa. gear. So that was cool. Um, almost died again. That was fun. Yeah, you have a lot of almost in the series, yeah. for sure. A lot of almost girlfriends, a lot of almost loves. Aww. You know? I'm feeling bad for Matt right now. Well, you should. Okay. I hope he has a happy ending. We'll get to that. 
And what about like a biggest like WTF moment? Or you're filming on set and something goes wrong or something? Um, well, I don't know. We have a lot of those, but I think, <laughs> uh, I think uh, uh, we always adapt and adjust accordingly. But I do, in terms of like the Damon and Laric relationship, the big WTF moment happens this season, which I'm excited to, oh. for, to debut when it comes What along. are you gonna tell us about that moment that's gonna happen? Ab I can't say anything about it, except it's, it's, it's pretty epic. Oh man, I mean things go wrong all the time. That's exactly what Matt just told us. Yeah, I think <laughs> maybe some like weird things were, my favorite I think is still, um, I was pregnant in real life last year, for those that don't know, um, while the character was pregnant. And so there, we had to keep doing these flash jump forwards. And there was one where like Caroline gets locked up in a wardrobe case. And so I had my big belly, but I'd had, I'd been like, hit across the head, so I had blood dripping down my face. Horrible. And I had my clothes didn't fit anymore because I had a big belly now. So I was like crammed into this wardrobe case with like an eight month pregnant belly with like blood dripping down me and someone had to like draw a gun on me. And I was like, what WTF yeah. am I doing right now? What is life right now? <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good one, I so think. So that one was and pretty you bizarre. you never forget that as well. No, so I have a great, a lot of really hilarious books or baby pictures pictures of me pregnant with blood dripping down my Good. face. Show them to the baby much later. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I have WTF moments often. I always wonder why. Um, well, we're always like killing people on the show, right? And then all of a sudden it's like WTF. I'll just like look at the call sheet for the day and that person's back. And I'm like, how did this happen? And they're like, oh, well, there was a spell and Bonnie, you know. Of course there so was. So I'm constantly WTFing like, why is this person that I just said goodbye to forever back in Atlanta? Usually someone I don't like. Yeah, it just messes with all your memories. It and does. Your emotions. It, correct. And like, I have to be nice to them now. Correct. And I want to like, be. I already said goodbye to you and now I have to be nice <laughs> to you on set and this sucks. No, I'm kidding. I, I like everyone. I'm a great guy. Um, the thing that I, that I, but I am constantly like, I don't know how to play certain scenes in terms of like, when someone dies, I sometimes go, I kind of go half mourning, half, well, that person might come back. You're on guard now. I'm You've on guard. you learned your lesson. I'm on death guard. Yes, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you could, if you could pick who Caroline would end up with, are we picking Caroline or Steriline? Steriline, why, what do you mean? I yeah, won't pick, good, okay. It's like, why would I pick the team that I'm not on? How's your stepdad skills going? It's not going well. Oh. Yeah, the kids why? hate me, they hate me. Like really? No, they love me. Um, the, the, I try my best, but Alark's the father. Ultimately, let's you know, and there's you know, there's not much I can do about that. What about a what about a craziest WTF moment from the series? And what does WTF stand for? Again? Um, what the f clever. Like <laughs> something that where you're like, what the heck is happening right now on this show? Okay. Um, <laughs> or a scene went wrong. Wow, there's so many of those. Re just recently, one of the craziest things I saw on the show, I wasn't even I wasn't even involved in it. But uh, someone was eating someone else's flesh, and I just saw them, saw them shoving raw bacon into their mouth. And I just kind of walked by, and I was like, what the? <laughs> Literally, WTF. Not kosher. <laughs> we were filming some kind of ball out in the country, and th this was the night when Tyler makes out with, with my mom. And we get into a fight, and we're on the ground wrestling, we're tussling around. And we had this director, David Von Ake, in there. And Trevino actually, like when he went to land down on me, knee straight into my baby maker. And I mean, it was like football where like, Aah! and this dude, David Von Aiken, he's like six foot five. He just comes over to me, he's like, breathe, buddy, breathe, cross your legs. And he picks me up underneath the arms and starts bouncing me up and down like this in front of the whole crew. Did they get it on camera? I, I hope not. <laughs> click left to hear the Vampire Diaries cast dish all about the final season and click right for nine things you didn't know about the Vampire Diaries.